the annual science fair. <laughs> Kelly, I see you've made another erupting volcano this year. Josh, a volcano as well. Susan, volcano. All very volcanic. Wow. Another volcano? Mr. Majors, why has yours attracted so much attention? Mine's an authentic Mexican volcano. See? It's made out of tortilla chips. And the lava... Nacho cheese dip. The little green boulders are jalapeno bits. Well, Tom, I give your project a D. For delicious! <laughs> ah, Kaz, topping Tom's edible eruption won't be easy. I know, Mr. Magruder, but I think you'll like my project, too. It's very, uh... I know. Yes, uh... <clears throat> what exactly is it? It's a large-scale replica of what I hypothesize the inside of this looks like. The scanner that allows me to transport my code to Chaotic. Yeah, You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> What's, like, wrong with him? Mr. Kalinkus, this is a science fair, not a science fiction fair. But it's... Not fiction. Your grade is an F for fraud. Oh, I told you the scanner thing was a mistake. Nobody here thinks it's real, Kaz. I have a match tonight in Chaotic. Want to port there with me and watch? No, thanks. I was up late working on my project. I think I'll just stay home. See you tomorrow. Cavs! Things are totally off the hook! Out of control! You gotta get here fast! Tom, what's wrong? Creatures invaded Chaotic! Creatures in Chaotic? That's impossible! <laughs> I think I did. Who's he? 
Report yourself back home right now. I'll see you online. You got it, dude. <laughs> On what line? Where are you going? To help the Overworlders? No, no, of course not. I just saw my friend Tom and I... <laughs> Sarah? Kaor! I'm conquering this place for the Danians! We'll see about that! What are you doing? It's me! Tell them to stop firing! I can't do that, Kaz. You're with the Underworlders. That makes you the enemy. Retreat! Retreat! Talking of, get Omar and inform the others that we captured the transport center. You. Stay with me. Omar, how much longer? Very soon, Kaor. I need to adjust wormhole polarity. Capturing Chaotic is only half the battle. Soon we'll seize the ultimate prize. It won't be long now. <laughs> how did you and the other tribes get here? Only Chaotic players can leave Param. I had Omar build a machine that creates a tri-dimensional wormhole. That let us transport to Chaotic. But something went wrong. Wormholes opened up all over Param, and the other tribes wormed their way through too. Okay, but why would you want to come here? So we can connect the wormhole generator to a transport disk and get to your world. Earth? You're going to Earth? But why? To conquer it, Kaz. And you're going to help me. Uh, uh... You want me to help you conquer Earth? What makes you think I'd do that? Because I need an advisor who knows how your kind thinks and behaves. Someone who knows the best way to conquer and enslave the Earthlings. I'm an Earthling. Do you really think I'd be a traitor to my own species? It's the only way you can prove you're an ally of the Underworld. You are my ally, aren't you, Kaz? <laughs> <laughs> Tom. 
Wait with us. He'll be back soon. Thanks, but I think I'll be going home now. Don't move, Underworlder! <laughs> and we continue to cover the Siege of Paris as an army of giant insect-like creatures has suddenly appeared and is devastating the city. Correspondent Chloe Chanson is live via satellite phone. Jim, giant bugs are attacking Paris. These phone pictures are all we can get to you right now, as the city is in chaos. The creatures appeared from nowhere just a few minutes ago. They have partially destroyed the Eiffel Tower and are swarming towards the Louvre as we speak. Tom! Tom! Hey, what's the emergency? The Danians are destroying Paris, and Sarah's with them! <laughs> How'd they get here? By invading Chaotic? What? You know Chaotic's been invaded! You were there! I've been here all afternoon. I don't know what you're talking about. Turn on the TV. They're showing pictures. This sounds crazy. It can't be true. It's true, Tom. Just you wait. <laughs> Tom, what are you doing? Stop joking around! You betrayed us, Kaz. Maxor told me you're the one who helped Kaor plan this invasion. I didn't help Kaor do anything. Kaor wanted me to get rid of you. But I came to warn you instead. You gotta believe me. Why should I? Because I'm your friend. Our friendship ended when you sided with the Underworlders. Now, I'm gonna do everything I can to stop you. Including destroying the machine you made for the science fair. My science project? What does that have to do with anything? You can't fool me anymore, Kaz. Tom! Tom! The worst that could happen. Peyton? Kaz, where am I? This is my street. This is where I live. Whoa. No offense, dude, but I think your folks could provide an environment that's a little safer. It was great until K.R. and Maxor showed up for a showdown. They're here? Yeah, and Tom thinks I had something to do with all this. I'm pretty sure he was heading for our school. Come on. Mr. Kalinkus. You should be in class. It's an emergency, Mr. Magruder. Chaotic creatures are invading Earth. I have to find Tom. I heard enough of this chaotic nonsense at the science fair. We're going to the principal's office. Run! Come back here! <laughs> Dude, that guy looks familiar. Come on, let's find Tom. Tom! If I had any doubts you were a traitor, they're gone now, Kaz. Tom, I'm not a traitor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. 
Maxor told me how Omar's wormhole generator was based on technology he got from a human. I saw the generator in the transport center. It's put together the same way as your science project. You must have traded him the wormhole technology so Kaor could transport to Earth. Did you get some good scans, Kaz? I hope they were worth selling out your planet. It wasn't me. I'd never do that. Think about it, Tom. All my friends, my family, how could I hurt them? How could I hurt you? I wish I could believe you, Kaz, but I'm gonna have to freeze you and bring you and your project to Maxor so he can figure out how to stop the Underworlders. Wait, I just remembered where I saw that teacher of yours. I battled him in the Imthor Drome last month. What? Dude, your science teacher's been to Chaotic. Are you sure? No doubt. Oh my, Mr. McGruder's the traitor. Kaz, I'm sorry. I should have... <laughs> Apologize later. The battle for Earth is on! Maxor. He's the only one strong enough to stop the Underworlders. There's got to be a way to stop this peacefully. It's too late, Kaz. The only way to finish this is to finish Kaor and the rest of his tribe forever. Tom, wait! I better go watch his back. isn't for Underworlders, it's for Overworlders! What? He can't mean that! In Param, I'm your ally, but here, my allegiance is to Earth. You're going home. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kaz. Kaor promised me my own country. I can't let you stop him. No! Kaor! I can't let Earth be destroyed, but I can't let you be destroyed either. You know what to do. You're much stronger than me, Kaor. I know you'll survive. When you're back in Param, lead your tribe to victory there, where you belong. You're gonna be okay. You have to be. The Earth is safe, and so are you. That's all that matters. You're a hero, Cass. A real hero. You always were. Wow, wow. man. You I can't believe you saved everyone. That's awesome. I always had a crush on you. 
But I never had the courage to tell you. Cass, where were you? I've been trying you forever. You sure you don't want to port to Chaotic? Uh. The. Uh. Oh. That's one crazy dream, Cass. Yeah, but at least I got a trip to Paris out of it. <laughs> so, how's that wormhole generator thing work? It was a dream, Peyton. It's not real. Well, you better tell them that! <laughs> Hello, Cass. Mr. Magruder? Okay, you're awake. This time you're really awake. <sighs> Kaz, I was wondering if you'd like to meet me for pizza sometime. You know, just the two of us. Ah, oh, definitely still dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>